Hey everyone, I'm Jason Jensen and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Welcome to part two of building Burton Tool Company. In my first video, I showed you how I combined two kits from Fosscale models to build this structure right here. In this video, we will finish the model and also we will build a diorama for the model to sit on. Hope you enjoy the video. So as you can see, I've gotten a lot done on the building. I made the, the doors look like metal. I simply spray painted them gray, uh, a deep gray primer. And then with the sponge, uh, put on some rust colored acrylics using Burnt Umber Milk Chocolate. I also created a sign right there. The sign is from the page of instructions. I simply cut that out. and rusted it using uh, paint and a sponge. I also put a roof using corrugated metal. The corrugated metal is from Casey's Workshop. It's uh, just a paper. And again, I spray painted it with a gray primer and then using a sponge dabbed on rust colored paint. I then put wires for supports. I have made a slight mistake and forgot to put acetate in the windows here. In here so I will have to take tweezers and come up from inside and put the acetate in the windows um, I just got in too big a hurry and forgot a step so you can see that I used the pastel chalks and added some weather to the con concrete foundation. We'll glue that on after the windows are in place. Next I created a loading dock for the front. It's entirely made out of strip wood. And these pieces here are made from wood but Painted using steel gray, the same as our concrete on the base here, uh, because I wanted these to look like uh, cement columns. Next, I have started painting detailed castings that will go around it. Some of these castings came with the, uh, the two models from Fosscale and some of the castings are from Bar Mills.
These will get a gray primer sprayed onto them first. Then I uh, go in with the actual colors and paint them. Then I put a black wash over it that goes into all the cracks. And then I dry brush a highlight when it's all dried. I'm going to give you a little closer look at the metal doors. After those were painted, uh, again by using, I first sprayed it with a gray primer and then using the sponge dabbed on a couple rust colored paints. Then after that was dry I took a number two pencil and went over the edges and in the cracks. The actual lead from the pencil highlights it and gives it a silver tint that makes it look like metal. I don't know if you're able to pick up on any of that. For the chimney on the roof, this is what it comes with. Hopefully you can see that. Then I use uh, its joint compound, so it's like pre-mixed plaster. And you simply dip your finger in it and rub it on. And as you can see, it stays in the cracks. So when it dries, it's on there permanently. Then just take some black pastel chalk and dab on the top of the uh, chimney to make it look like soot and ashes. Next, I cut out a base out of pink styrofoam. It measures 9 by 12. I then laid my foundation on there in this loading dock and traced around it. Next, we are going to add some concrete pads using joint compound. I made a template and we will simply smear on some joint compound. We will then paint this gray after it dries and put expansion cracks in it and uh, weather it with pastel chalks to make it look like aged concrete.
as you can see, I'm going very thin. After this dries, we'll give it a light sanding. Next, I've used a ruler and a pencil and just drew my expansion cracks on there. As you can see, areas were still a little wet and I simply took my finger, pressed it on and lifted off some of the joint compound. That will give us some texture for uh, broken concrete. And we'll put dirt in there and weeds. After this dries a little bit more and I completely paint it, I will draw some small cracks uh, with a pencil on it. I'm going to lightly go over it with just a simple piece of cardboard. This is not sandpaper. This is just a regular piece of cardboard just to get rid of any little uh, raised areas just to kind of smooth it out a little bit that's it so as you can see, I painted the cement using steel gray and then weathered it with some pastel chalks just by simply brushing it on. Next, we are going to add some dirt. I'm using folk art brown paint. Any brown will work. I'm applying the brown paint over where the dirt is going to go and I'm putting it on pretty thick. Now before it starts to dry I'm just using real dirt And sprinkling it right onto the wet paint. Don't worry if you get it onto the cement, we'll shake it off. You don't want to paint too big a section because acrylic paint dries really fast and you want it to be wet so that the dirt sticks. Now, we'll simply tilt it up. Now, 
Next, we are going to add some grass and bushes. I'm going to cover up the cement. My diorama is going to be set in the fall, so the grass is dying, not very green. Now we've got all of the grass sprinkled on, and we're simply going to remove it from where we don't want it. Next, we're going to use denatured alcohol. I put it into a fine mist spray bottle. And we're just going to mist where the green is. Now using Elmer's glue, it is half water, half glue. We'll soak up some of the water and glue. Now we'll let that sit. I'm going to put some dirt in the broken areas of the concrete. So first I'm going to take some brown paint. Fill in the little area that is broken away. Then, take a little pinch of dirt and sprinkle it right over the brown paint. To speed things up for the video, I'm going to glue down the base. I'm going to use liquid nails to do that.
forgot to uh, paint that and put dirt in there. So I'm going to have to go back and do that. We are going to add some weights. Next we will start to glue in some of the castings. Again, I'm using liquid nails. There's a little bit seeping out from the bottom, so I'm just going to wipe that up quick. Next, I'm going to add some weeds. Uh, this is from Scenic Express. Um, they're sticky. All you have to do is pick them off and stick them on. We're going to put those in the cracks of the cement. While it's still wet, I'm going to add some blended turf. And it's just fall colors. Almost gives the illusion of uh, maybe leaves. Just a little bit. Next, I am going to add some tall weeds. After these dry, uh, we can trim them down if they're too tall or a little too big. So that the yellow weeds that I've placed in there don't look so out of place, I'm adding some yellow coarse turf. Now to make sure that it stays in place, I am going to put a drop of... the glue that is half water, half glue. So I just added some stairs to the front and while the ground was still wet, I placed some broken pallets, some scrap wood, added some more weeds on this side. So I'm building a fence that's gonna go around the diorama. And I stained my wood and painted the corrugated metal.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. I built this diorama after attending the 2018 Model Railroad Expo. After attending that show, I walked away with so many helpful tips and feeling so inspired. I feel it took my modeling to the next level. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe. And if you do, click on the bell to be notified when I upload more videos. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.